Six. Six music. You're with Lauren Laverne, and I'm delighted to say that I'm joined in the live room by our guest today, Fionn Regan. Welcome. How are you? Great. Thanks. Thanks it's for having us. Great to see you. It's a bit of a long time since since we did, obviously. Yeah. Um, the new album, The Meetings of the Waters, has been out since April. It's just a fantastic record. Oh, um, but there was a break between um, this album and the last of about five years or so. And from what I yeah. read, you thought about changing direction completely and changing what you were doing in the interim what happened yeah, yeah i well i i think you know it's it's that sort of thing where music uh drags me back in no matter what you know what i mean like it's yeah. just what i do so it's it's the center pole of everything but you know it's a you know there, there are other things that you can do that have a similar effect that are interesting that you you know, like painting or all those sort of things. So yeah, I started to do those things, but it just ended up amounting to the same thing. So just the, taking a, a long way around the houses. So kind of exploring other disciplines, but coming back to music. What yeah. is it that pulls you back in? I, I don't know. Maybe it's lack of ability in other areas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure not. <laughs> I'm sure not. Definitely, you've uh, got a lot of musical ability, obviously, and you know you know what you're doing. But I, I want it's interesting that you kind of described it as like it pulling you back in. It sounds almost tidal, and obviously there's a, yeah. a connection with that. And, and the album title, "The Meetings of the Waters." Yeah, yeah. It's something yeah. irresistible about it, and elemental. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's, that's that's uh, the way it is. You 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 know, if you work for long enough at one particular thing. It sort of keeps reminding itself, you know, of its presence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It becomes part of you as well, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. It becomes the way that you think. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Um, so the new album and, and the title that I, I mentioned already, that mm. refers to a kind of meeting of two different types of sounds. Yeah. This is a, a, you know, a different record for you. I mean, it absolutely sounds like you, but it's bringing new elements into the mix and yeah. electronic uh, music for the first time and, and instrumentation. What happened there and, and how did you start exploring that? Yeah, I think, I think it's the, you know, everything that you listen to works its way into what you create you know so i think in a way for me to just make an acoustic record wouldn't make sense of everything that i hear you know the atmosphere mm -hmm. that even if you're just hearing something in the distance or something out a window or you know what i mean the the sound of electronic instruments or it's around you know it's yeah. in the atmosphere so i think the the record somehow it started to lend itself to that structure you know yes. for some songs it's you know it's not completely gone in a different direction but it just has an element of it yeah absolutely yeah. well it's interesting how it's introduced i think in the you know in the course of the album it's in, yeah. you know it, because like you say it isn't just this kind of like hang on a minute like yeah. gear change that, yeah, that yeah. takes you by surprise the the way that the textures are combined with the you know your signature sound i suppose is is yeah. re a really interesting kind of combination did that did that just happen naturally did it fit really easily together or was it something you had to work at yeah no i think well it you know, most, all, all the other records that I made were more expressionist, so it's, you know, recorded fast in a week or five days or a bit longer or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it took a little bit longer to adjust to, to um, yeah, whatever it is now. <laughs> <laughs> I was you know, told, yeah. I just was... even play, playing to, to uh, a fixed rhythm. Yes, exactly, so, a click know, track because you have to fit yeah, the... Yeah, so you're so used to your own internal rhythm you know, being the thing that's predominant. So there's a little bit of, it's interesting. Yeah, absolutely. I was just thinking when you, you know, you were talking there about um, Colin Stetson, who was in a few months ago and talking about his new record and how, you know, he's essentially creating a, a record that is bringing in the, the techno sounds that he grew up listening to, like yeah. a lot of Ortecra and Aphex Twin and stuff like yeah. that. But he's kind of recreating those sounds using the brass instrumentation that he plays. And he was talking about the links between, um, you know, analog instruments and electronic instruments, specifically like brass for him, because so many keyboards were created to mimic those sounds. Yeah. So there's a lot of kind of unexpected symmetry, I think between yeah. the two worlds like they're not totally different yeah yeah i think so yeah how have people yeah. reacted to to you know you including a new set of sounds on this record i think good yeah i think great 
Okay. Mm. And um, I mean, tell me a little bit about the title as well, because it's a really interesting one, The Meetings of the Waters. Yeah, well, it, it's a place in Ireland, and I wrote some of the songs around there. Uh, so it's not, you know, it's, yeah, it's, you know, it's just that thing of the, the atmosphere that you're in, the geography of the place, or something, you know, works its way into the songs. Um, it's as simple as that, really, but then it's also, like you say, it's a sort of, for but something that I sat down with the idea, yeah, like a concept or anything like that. But it ended up sort of being a a concept by, you know, the other way. Default, yeah. yeah. So you're playing it a couple of tracks for us today. What are we going to hear first? Uh, Book of the Moon. We're oh, wonderful. Play first. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay, Fionn Regan, over to you. Again, live on Six Music. Thank you very much. So, Thanks. Fionn, you said, you, you know, working in Ireland and, and writing the album in Ireland, I wonder how much of an influence um, the place is on your songwriting and, and the music that you make? Because I know there are a few references on this record in particular. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I grew up by the sea, so it's... I, everything that I do has got an element of a sea shanty to it, you know, <laughs> yeah. on some level. So I think so, yeah. I think the seasons, maybe the seasons have some sort of effect. Yeah. Yeah. And and you know by the sea obviously I th- I think that the coast is a a particular it has a particular kind of resonance and atmosphere mm. for songwriters. Yeah. I guess you're staring out at the horizon and it just Yeah, well, you, well yeah, you you're thinking you know well, it's obvious that there's something else out there. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. There's also a great track on this record called Babushka Yaya, which oh, yeah. is, uh, tell me about that one. Well, it's 
the the song was um you know it was sort of like the idea of the song was that it was the first song of the start of a band in my head okay but then it ended up working on the record but it's uh yeah it, it it's sort of a yeah it's that it, it's a moment if you're if you're in the countryside and you drive up to the city it's the moment in the city you know that's that's the way I see it in my head, like a film. Okay, you know? yeah, it is. It it's has like if you walk walked into a nightclub straight through and out the back down the fire escape. <laughs> that's what would happen in two and a half minutes. And you encounter some some trouble on the way. Yeah, yeah, I love that. So, I mean, when it came to deciding to kind of work on this record, um, and as you say, it took a little bit longer yeah. um, to take shape, especially because you you were taking in this kind of new new instrumentation and learning new disciplines and stuff. I mean, what, what was that like for you? Was that did it feel at, at any point? you know risky that this was you know you were doing something different and maybe not as sure about how it's going to work out because presumably you've got time to worry about that you know if, if it's yeah. taken quite a long time and it doesn't usually yeah I think I think maybe that the 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 learning of the the process is engaging to the point where you don't really you're kind of cocooned into it you know most of the time but yeah I, I think what in every piece of work you do there's those moments where you're crossing the bridge, you don't know where you are, you know, but that's part of it. You and, know? and, you know, this is out on your own label as well. And, yeah. and I wonder about, about um, the importance of creative control, artistic control and your own space to make your own decisions, yeah. how important that is to you. Yeah, well, um, you know, I think, I don't know, it's, I don't really know it any other way. I, I just, I try and make the music that, that I feel is, you know, resonates with where I'm at at that point, and I can't do it any other way. You know what I mean? So it has to, it has to be something that I can't. It's like making something that you can't find somewhere else. You know? Yeah. It's like I, I have to. Do, it it feels like that's the only thing that I know how to do. So I suppose there's an element of control in that. You know? But and it, but it doesn't really feel like that. It just feels like that's. You know that it doesn't stand up unless it's unless you have creative, you know, your own vision that yeah, you're articulating. Yeah, it doesn't work. It's not going to work. You know. And I know that you've been um, that uh, Justin Vernon is a fan of yours. He sampled you on on his most recent yeah. album, and um, there was a concert as well, which sounded really interesting. Can you yeah. tell me about that? Yeah. Um, well, yeah. He he sampled a song called Abacus from my first record. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it's, you know, I wasn't expecting that, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, I, I think it's it's really interesting because it's, it doesn't really happen in, you know, folk acoustic music, whatever you want to call mm -hmm, it, you know, mm -hmm. where people are, but I think he might have started, you know, a, a whole way of doing things, you know, I think that it might evolve into people sampling more of other people you know yeah yeah absolutely and uh, and so you were performing with 85 other artists at a um a show at michael berger music yeah, last yeah, year yeah yeah mitchell berger yeah oh, right okay um, mitchell berger. yeah yeah um yeah that it was a collaborative event um so there was like loads of artists put together to kind of work out how they could maybe come up with something, you know what I mean? And uh, there was, you know, different kinships and things evolved out of it. But, yeah, I, I, I played with a few different people, so it was really interesting. Yeah, and mm. I think the the thinking behind it was that it was taking people away from commercial pressures and expectations. But I'm wondering for you whether it was kind of a, a, an unusually sociable way to to approach music because you know you you yeah, handle yeah. all that stuff yourself. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's when you're you're a, a, uh, like a solo artist, for want of a better, you know, it's not something that I, you know, it's I ended up becoming, you know, a singer songwriter. I didn't sit down and think that that's what you know i always wanted to be in a band yeah but it's that happens the other way around as well you know yeah the people in band they've got that look that they're just waiting for their solo record <laughs> you know so it's it works both ways uh -huh. you know what i mean i think but um yeah so i i think the learning process for me to jump into the middle of a a group of people yeah and try and 
you know that it it's a good challenge you know they're fantastic and how how good 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 on him for putting that on really it must yeah. have been quite a feat getting 85 yeah, people yeah. together i was amazing yeah yeah, yeah. Getting musicians as well getting them to turn up on time and come to the right place yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You, you were talking a little bit about um, thinking about kind of dedicating yourself more seriously to painting mm. um, and other kind of art forms. Uh, are those kind of ideas that you've left behind or is all yeah, that work so. still? Really? Yeah, I think so for the moment. Okay, but maybe yeah. in the future. Yeah, it's, it's sort of, you know, it's the same thing really, but it's, you know, like you could, you know, you could paint a picture or something like that and it's very fast and visceral and you'll get an idea for... A song you know but I, I think maybe it's more it's that's a part of the process of eventually writing songs again rather than something I don't know yeah. are you are you how interested are you in the connection that you have with your audience because I always think about you know when it comes to visual art there's that I think it's Bob Geldof uh, was saying in an interview you know it's quite rare that people will stand and look at a painting and cry but everybody has a song that makes them cry yeah. And, and I think that's, you know, he's talking about the, the connection that artists can have with, with yeah, their audience, which is very direct. M- music has a certain, it transports you in a certain way, doesn't it, that, that other things don't. But I think maybe with, with other types of art, you can express something that sometimes is not as readily available in a song, you know. It's yeah. just different. It's a different palette, you know. Do you like playing live? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Where are you going to be next? I know you've got some dates I coming up. I'm playing in, I'm supposed to know this date, um, but I'm playing the Shepherd's Bush Oh, soon. that's in October, 14th of October. There you go. I've got that one, yeah. Don't worry, got you back. Yeah. And also got you've got a festival show coming up at Green Man. Yeah, 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 I love it there. And why do you love it? Oh, it's, well, you get to look at trees when you're playing. <laughs> it's one of the main things, which is, you know, better than whatever else, uh, you know. You might be looking at that absolutely doesn't hurt and and how far ahead have you planned because this record's been out since april as i said mm. been out, out a little while um what's next for you um i don't know i think i, I I'm, I'm going to um tour more um you know just just keep keeping on yeah mm. i wonder whether this is the beginning of a uh, not a new direction but a kind of shift in perspective for you i know that the next track or the current track from the album cape of diamonds is is you know the, the kind yeah. of current single and to me that sounds like you know you're always an artist who has had, had a, there's a timeless quality to what you make but i i kind of feel like that is the most the the, the most kind of plugged into the moment to this particular moment track that I've ever heard you do right I thought that was quite interesting yeah you'd obviously you know made that choice yeah well yeah I don't I don't know really where that song came from but it's um yeah I know what you mean it's there's something to do with the zeitgeist in the the fabric of it yeah Mm. yeah and you're in that moment now and stay in there yeah (laughs) Yes. <laughs> so what are you going to play for us next? Uh, yeah. This is Euphoria. Oh, I'd love to hear it. You say your heart's a glass Will it shatter on the rocks I know about the rain I grew up with it You found the golden screen And when you stood behind Voice continued on in my mind. The ancient moon and the rising sun, with hearts both beating like a drum. Many miles is there to go. Mountain snow, 
euphoria Euphoria I'm craving Fionn Regan, thank you very, very much for coming in to see us. Best of luck at Green Man. Pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Great to see you. The Meetings of the Waters is out now. Cheers. Thanks. Six. 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 Music. Music. Music.